Okay, this is a continuation of the first video. I didn't tell you guys where you get your uh, smooth and rough sandpaper. You get for people who sell shoe materials and also beauty materials. So I had to cut them to size so that it will fit so well. It's my cousin baby wipes. I uh, get from people who sell baby products, you know, baby stores generally, and your gloves too. You will get the waterproof, the nylon gloves up for, for people who sell cake materials. So this one is quite expensive. I got for 200 naira. So this is my container for mixing. I like to use a clear container, especially if I'm mixing colored ones. I mean, all of them are always colored. So uh, that I'm mixing blocks. I need to use container so that you could see the color change too. So we are going to do a simple calculation of one is to one here. One spoon of top bone, our top bone, and one spoon of our stiffener. All right. Let me just try to pick this. Uh, yeah, the container, the mouth is quite small. This is because of the size of the container. If you buy other bigger ones, this spoon can fit in properly. So let's just try and get one spoon full. Get my gloves because I think I picked up this then I don't want that to happen again. So please try and use your gloves while doing this so that you will not pick up stains and stain your leather if you're especially if you're working with a white uh, leather, it's not gonna be nice. So I'm just putting on my gloves now. mixing mix them properly mix it properly for it to mix you want the stiffener and the top bone to mix properly because if they don't mix properly you tend to see uh it, it to, to form i don't know it's be quite it won't be uniform they say so you have to mix it properly for them to mix for them to appear well you know so that the edge could come out properly then you since i want to prepare my black edge coat i'll use my leather dye don't forget, you can also use a dry one, but you have to dilute it in a small amount of water before you add it here. But since this one is already liquid, I could go on adding it. So I want to use, uh, I think I should use two spoon. No, you actually use two spoonful first for a start, so you see how it is. But obviously, you need more than that. So let's just do that now. Careful so that you don't stain your working space. So you're going to mix that, just mix that properly. Mix all of them. They will mix that first, but you know, keep on stirring, keep on stirring, keep on stirring. They will eventually mix. So that's what we're doing now. All right, we're doing that now. It's also important for you to know that if you don't have a container for storage. It's better for you to uh, do your edge coat in small size, in small quantities, so that they don't waste. Because this one I'm making right now, I could actually use it for like five shoes, five pair of uh, leather products. If I'm working on leather, you are using bags too. You could, you know, buy a container for it, so that when you make them, you could transfer them to the container to avoid wastage. So you can see now what I said. Why we need this kind of container for mixing, so you could see the color change. Now we are not, we don't have our black yet. We just have to keep on adding our uh, let's just add I think two more spoons is okay let's just keep on adding we'll keep on mixing till we get our black color we need black color
just keep on mixing, mixing, just mixing properly. Let's mix it properly. Yeah, we are almost getting what we want, but uh, we can still see the gray a little bit, so I, I'm, I'm very sure you can also see the gray too. So let's just keep on mixing it. Yeah, I think yeah, we'll be needing more dye. We'll be needing more dye because this is not giving us the black yet. This is close, but we want black. We want black, not grayish black, not gray. So take notes. So let's just keep mixing. Let's see that how it's going. 